Hey, it's Stevie T, and today we are counting down the top four worst band breakups of all time. Now, why four? I was gonna have more, but as you will soon see, this video was way more work than I thought it would be. Because we are not just counting down the top four, but I'm also gonna give you guys an inside scoop on what really happened. So let's start this top four list with the Fab Four, the Beatles. So here's a little Beatles timeline for you guys. They formed in 1960. By 1964, they were the biggest band in the universe. And by 1969, they were broke up. Like, they changed the world of music, and they were barely together a decade. Pretty hard to believe. But why did they break up? Well, no one can say for certain, but luckily I had hidden cameras when everything went down. Here's what really happened. All right, Paul, where is John? We, we got to get recording here. I'm Ringo. George. Yeah, I don't know. Jo John has been distant lately. Y yeah, I, on honestly, I think he has a girlfriend. What is going on, my Puerto Rican friends? Hello. Hello. And where have you been? I want to introduce you all to my new girlfriend, Yoko. Ah. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's some hot stuff right there. Yeah. So I was thinking Yoko could be uh, like a big part of the band. Yes, George. Why? Well, I thought her vocal abilities might be a nice addition to our new song. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's some good stuff. <laughs> oh, look at the time. I'm a volunteer pet masseuse. I, got, I gotta go. Oh, oh, is it three o'clock already? I, I forgot, I have to quit the band. Well, what do you say, Paul? We start the Fab Three with you, me, and Yoko? I would rather stick my tallywacker in a beehive. Okay, 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 look. Many people do believe that Yoko Ono entering John Lennon's life led to the demise of the Beatles. However, many speculate that Yoko Ono was just the perfect excuse as to why the band broke up. As though John was using Yoko as a wedge to separate himself from the band. Because tensions were high, they had many creative and personal differences at the time, and essentially Yoko Ono was just the scapegoat. Or the scapegoat! But many speculate that it was the untimely death of the Beatles' longtime manager, Brian Epstein, who was absolutely instrumental in helping to build the Beatles. So why did the Beatles break up? No one can say for certain, but it was definitely Yoko. <laughs> you know what? I want to protect you guys from Snoops. The sponsors for today's video is NordVPN. And what NordVPN does is create an encrypted tunnel between your device and the internet, making your location and all your personal information invisible to everyone. This includes, but is not limited to, internet service providers, websites, hackers, governments, and snoopy little snoop snoops. To put it in layman's terms, let's say Yoko Ono is a hacker and autotune is your personal information. But NordVPN blocks the hack or Yoko Ono from being able to access your personal information or auto-tune. And let me tell you, as a person who has been hacked, this is something you want to do before you get hacked. Not after. That was the mistake I made. Learn from me, because I had a serious case of the snoopatitis. <laughs> but now I have NordVPN running on my computer and my cell phone at all times. And it's so easy, you can do it with your nose. You just open up NordVPN, click on Quick Connect, and you're done. It connects you to one of over 5,200 different secure servers in 60 different countries. And NordVPN servers are so fast, you, it doesn't slow your internet down at all. So it's like, why not have it on? Just have it on running all the time, snoops. They won't know what to do. They're snoopy. Go to nordvpn.com slash terryberry to get a massive discount on a two-year plan with Nord. Plus four additional free months, because we have to protect you from the snoopages. 
Thank you, NordVPN, for sponsoring. Go get those good-for-nothing Snoopy Snoops. Now, this next band is a little off the beaten path, but no band breakup list would be complete without a black metal band. So number three on our list is Mayhem. Plagued by suicides, murders, church burnings, and all around other black metal-y antics, it's a miracle this band has survived its many iterations. And they're still going strong today. But around 1993, with three of the four band members either being murdered, dead, or in prison, yeah, it's safe to say that Mayhem is one of the worst unintentional band breakups in history. Here's what happened. Hello? Are you coming to band practice? Yeah, I, I'm kind of busy right now. I killed our singer. I, I, I'm sorry? Are you coming to band practice? Yeah, I, uh, I kind of set a church on fire. Oh my God, that is so black metal. I didn't do it on purpose. I flicked my cigarette out the window. I didn't know the church was made of wood. I made you a necklace out of our singer's skull. S I'm sorry, you what? Our guitarist is dead too. Okay, look, I, I, I kind of got to go. I'll, I'll be there as soon as I can. Uh, you, you know what? Don't even bother. Turns out I'm probably going to jail for murder. Mm. So basically, I'm the only person in the band now. I'll catch you on the flip side, sport. Now, it turns out messy band breakups are not a new thing. There is a music duo that started out in 1951, the real-life brothers Don and Phil Everly, otherwise known as the Everly Brothers. They enjoyed a successful run of hits in the 50s and 60s with songs like Wake Up Little Susie and All I Have To Do Is Dream. But after many years of touring and never really getting a break from each other, it really put a strain on their relationship. And couple that with addiction issues, it just wasn't gonna end well. And on July 14th, 1973, at a concert in California, the band imploded on stage with Don Everly showing up to the show drunk. Yeah, his brother Phil didn't take too kindly to that one. Here's how it ended. Thank, thank you guys so much for coming here today. I friggin' love you guys, okay? I friggin' love you. We're, we're, we're the Everly brothers and this, their first song is Dream. Hey, go away. Dream, 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 dream. When I go poop in my bomb, when I have stinky bum poop. Wait, go, go back. I, I, I swear I forgot the lyrics. I, not an Everly brother anymore. Phil can suck it. Okay, okay, okay. So Phil didn't technically break his guitar over Don's head, but he reportedly did smash his guitar and walk off stage for good. And they went 10 years not performing together, barely seeing each other. And finally in 1983, they did a reunion show. And even though they didn't rise to their earlier successes, at least they did get to perform together again. But this next band, I really doubt it. Because the Everly Brothers are not the only sibling group to have band issues. Number one on our list is Oasis. Now if someone asked me what two band members in rock history hated each other the most, I'd have to go with Liam and Noel Gallagher. I don't know what it is about their brotherly connection abilities to write hit songs, sell millions, and define an era of music, yet they can't even have a peaceful Thanksgiving dinner without going at each other's throats with a carving knife. Now, Oasis didn't just break up overnight. There were many instances where they probably could have, but in August of 2009, while preparing to go on stage for a show in Paris, they had another argument that led to the breakup of the band. Here's what happened on that fateful day. All right, Liam, listen. The concert starts in 20 minutes. When Noel gets here, can you please just try to get along? Uh, of course, mate. F off. F off. Yeah. Liam, you told me you'd try to get along. I said maybe. Maybe. You're gonna be the one that saves me. Who the f*** are you? 
we've been your band for 30 years. F off. F off. F off. Yeah. F off. Yeah. Oh, you f you f off. off. What the f off. Mate, you f off. Mate, you f off. Liam, your brother just left, possibly for good. What if you never saw him again? That's your brother right there. If you could take back the past 10 minutes and he was still in this room, what would you say to him? F off. Okay, 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 so I don't know what their argument was about, but I like to imagine it ended with a lot of f offs. And unfortunately, that's now what I have to say to you guys, because the video is done. And thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe and help me get to 4 million subscribers so that I can get a tattoo. Ah, f off.